Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood.
He's right. Time to get my shit together. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox for 12. Never could bring myself to send these. Whenever I tried to tell him how much I missed him, it felt unfair. What was I supposed to say? Hmm. I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. and left and never looked back. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. A secret keeper in her secret key. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. Here's my ID. <sighs> this place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs, 
so you can get the hell out of here. Well, now they know everything about me but my blood type. I got pretty lucky with this job. Tessa and Tom really took a chance on me. Uh, Allison, please. It's a damn shame. Come on, Allison. Don't start. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. You swore, Allison. It's nothing. This is nothing. I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories. But he wouldn't listen. <laughs> Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, do you? They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> Recent pay stubs should be in that folder in my room. Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? Allison, help! Uh, Allison, please. The Mad Hunter. What's wrong with me? deal with you right now. No, no phone here. What's it doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> Get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file. Get dressed. 
and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. I've got enough time to carve something for Dee. This is a totally different life. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserve that. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? No, he's, uh, busy. Out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh, especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I, I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. Oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all costs. 
Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. I think he and Tess are legitimately concerned. Plus, a uh, door to door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah, I guess. <sighs> I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's gonna fall through and, and I'm gonna be stuck here. Forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck-up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? The deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. You're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? Oh god. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um... I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? Anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick, and... and... I've been seeing things. Memories. Of Marianne, and me, and Tyler when we were kids, and Eddie, and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now, I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. <laughs> Come here, Allie. I hear you, okay? I hear you. <sighs> you must think I'm completely nuts. 
You went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. Not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if I might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it.